I got some diagnostic theory that you can use when diagnosing a SCR system. So think about this. You have death in the tank, which is urea, and it's got to make its way into the SCR system to reduce NOx. In other words, nitric oxide compounds that cause environmental damage. How does it know that that system is performing up to par? Well, it has these, the NOx sensors. And on some systems, there may even be pressure sensors that detect if the system is blocked. But the NOx sensor, this pertains to the SCR system or selective catalyst reduction. So a NOx sensor is not unlike a wideband oxygen sensor. A wideband oxygen sensor measures the reference between the outside air and the amount of air inside of the exhaust stream. A NOx sensor is no different, except it's looking at nitrogen. When you have the two comparing the reference air and the nitrogen in the exhaust stream, it can then determine how much diesel exhaust fluid to inject into the SCR system. So the NOx sensor is expecting to see a reduction in nitrogen in the exhaust when the diesel exhaust fluid is injected. If it doesn't see this reduction, well, it then sets a code and determines the threshold for the SCR system. If it's not efficient enough, well, it's gonna set a code and the driver could have to bring it in for service. This can be also be influenced by the quality of the depth and the concentration of the urea. Just like air fuel ratio sensors and oxygen sensors, the system has thresholds that it has to meet. In other words, if it's not performing the reduction of nitric oxide compounds, it's going to set a code for the threshold. If that threshold is exceeded, you're going to get codes like these. P20E for SCR NOx catalyst efficiency below threshold or a P204F for reduction system performance if the death system has incorrect urea levels. There are other sensors on the system like we mentioned before. There are actual pressure sensors in this system that determine the condition of the SCR. If it sees higher than normal pressures inside the system, you could have a code P20E8 for reductant pressure too low or a P20E9 for reductant pressure too high. Both codes can indicate an obstruction in the lines due to the diesel exhaust fluid crystallization. So how do you prevent this from happening and those codes from reoccurring on your truck? Well, here is your team of three. Your role in this whole thing is to keep the death tank as full as possible. By doing this, you're preventing those white crystals from forming by eliminating air inside the tank. If you do have codes, product like diesel death and SCR emission systems cleaner can help to get rid of codes in as little as 250 miles and help clear out those white crystals. The formula is compatible with DEF and includes cleaning agents and surfactant detergents. It is specifically designed to be safe to use with all SCR systems and will not void the warranty. If you use Rizalone's diesel DPF exhaust emissions cleaner poured into the fuel tank, the catalyst efficiency can be improved by the thermal reduction of nitric oxide compounds and resolve P20EE codes. If you want to keep the SCR system clean long-term, use Rizlone's diesel DEF treatment every DEF fill-up. It inhibits the accumulation of white, harmful deposits that occur in the SCR system. Back to the NOx sensor. The NOx sensor determines the efficiency of the SCR system and can cause codes for your customer. The way to alleviate some of these problems is, first of all, proper diagnostics. And second of all, a short-term treatment in the DEF tank and also the fuel tank. And then reminding the customer that every DEF fill-up, they need to use this product. This is a long-term solution to keep that SCR system and the DEF tank and DEF system and DEF injector and downpipe healthy as possible without any downtime for the customer. So just keep this team of products in mind when you're servicing a diesel vehicle with some of the codes for the SCR system. I'm Andrew Markell. Thank you very much.